Hello everyone and welcome to MAPI 8 Overview. So now I'm going to discuss to you the different topics that we are going to take up in MAPI 8. First, we must know the music and arts. So both music and arts curricula focuses on the knowledge, skills, and values necessary for artistic expression and cultural literacy. Thus, you are empowered through active participation involvement and participation to effectively correlate music and art to the development of your own cultural identity and your expansion of your vision of the world. So, as what we've discussed when you were in grade seven music and arts is related to a culture so music and arts focuses more on the cultural literacy of a certain place that we're going to study so we're going to study more on the cultures of a certain area so as we as you all know that music and arts is connected with culture and expression so what is music Music is an art form and cultural activity whose medium is sound organized in time. So music is a form of art and a cultural activity. So music depends on a certain culture in a certain place. So there are different forms of music or types of music or genre of music in a certain place because of their culture so the music of thailand and the music of china is very different because they have different culture the music of the philippines and the music of cambodia is different because we have different culture next is what is arts so art is a diverse range of human activities in creating visual auditory or performing artifacts or artworks expressing the author's imaginative conceptual ideas or technical skill intended to be appreciated for the beauty for their beauty or emotional power so art as we talked about when you were in grade 7 is diverse meaning lain lain art uh, of a certain person is unique because it relates to expression and also culture so we have diverse range of human activities in creating visual, auditory, or performing artifacts or artworks. So in arts, it's not only visual, which we can see, but we can also hear it or auditory through music. So music is a form of art or different artifacts such as sculptures and etc. So, also arts relates to their, to certain culture and certain expression of an author. So, it is intended to be appreciated for their beauty or emotional power. For example, in different museums, so, uh, different arts were displayed there to be appreciated for their beauty. Next is... Here are our future topics for MAPI 8 music. So, we are going to focus more on the music of Asia. When you were in grade 7, we, we talked about the music of the Philippines. But now in MAPI 8 music, we will focus on the music of Asia. Specifically, the music of Southeast Asia, the music of East Asia, the music of South Asia and the Middle East, and the traditional Asian theater music. Next is the arts. So arts will focus more on the Asian art. So last year, or in, when you were in grade 7, we focused more on the arts of the Philippines. Now we are going to focus more on Asian art, specifically Southeast Asian art, East Asian art, the art of South, West, and Central Asia, and the festival and theatrical forms next is physical education 
So as you all know, the goal of physical education is move to learn, learn to move. So move to learn, it is the context of physical activity used as the means of learning. So in order for you to move, uh, in order for you to learn, you have to move. Next is learn to move. Learn to move, on the other hand, embodies the learning of skills and techniques and acquisitions of understanding needed to participate in various varied physical activities such as exercise, games, sports, dance, and recreation. So, in order for you to move, you have to learn how to move. So, you, re- you will be going to learn the different basic skills of a certain sports and certain dances. So now, we're going to um, review on the meaning of physical education. So as you all know, that physical education is an integral part of our education system that is designed to promote holistic and optimum development, which are the physical, emotional, mental, social, and spiritual aspects through active participation. Through so, um, physical education, you are always you are always reminded by this that physical education is not just physical. Focuses on the physical aspects of our optimum development, but it also um, improves our emotional. So how can we improve our Physical is through um, dif- performing different physical activities. Emotional is through um, handling how we handle emotions through certain games, through certain sports, or through s- a certain physical activities. Next is our mental. So physical, physical education improves or develops our mental aspect through um, learning. Now when we are learning or understanding a certain sports, a certain technique or a certain strategy of a certain game we use our intellectual or our mental next is social no so we don't play or do physical activities on our own we do it with other people so it helps us develop our social aspect and spiritual aspect it talks about the values that we're going to Um, form or develop so which are the teamwork sportsmanship respect to other people and our camaraderie and we can develop that through active participation so if you don't participate in a certain if you don't participate in the different activities of physical education you will not achieve optimum or holistic development so active participation is very important here are our future topics for physical education 8 so we will focus more on the family and school fitness specifically physical fitness through team sports team sports staying fit and folk dances with asian influences next is health So health education emphasizes the development of positive health attitudes and relevant skills to achieve good quality of living. A comprehensive body of knowledge is provided to serve as your foundation in developing desirable health attitudes, habits, and practices. So in health, we're going to talk about more on the positive health attitudes for you to have a good quality life so what is health so according to the world health organization health is a state of complete physical mental and social well-being not merely the absence of disease or infirmity so we have discussed this when you were in grade 7 no so a healthy person dili pasabot na wala ka di ka kasakit physically is healthy na ka so, ang, physic- ang healthy person di ay is physically healthy, mentally healthy, and socially healthy. Physically healthy meaning we are healthy physically, nadilito dali matakdan sa sakit. And mental, 
mentally na di ta mas stress, di ta depress, and socially healthy, meaning um, healthy ang atong relationship sa uban tao. So again, health is um, a state of complete physical, mental, and social well-being. So here are our future topics for health. We'll focus more on family health, more on family health, prevention and control of communicable diseases, prevention and control of non-communicable diseases and disorder. So that is all for our MAPE overview. I hope you have learned something from it and thank you so much for listening. Bye!